And then everything changed for me in 2019. And the reason why I say that is that I stumbled upon uh, Dr. Sean Baker appearing on Joe Rogan. And for anyone that doesn't know Sean Baker, he's probably the most well-known carnivore doctor. He was, um, I think he was an orthopedic surgeon or he was an emergency surgeon, incredibly accomplished athlete. And his whole theory is that we've evolutionarily evolved to be carnivores and we thrive off animal products, primarily beef, chicken, eggs, pork, fish, et cetera. And that beef is actually the most, some of the animal products are some of the most nutrient dense bioavailable foods that you can put into your body. And for me, that was counterintuitive to everything that I heard because I'd heard that red meat causes cancer, diabetes, all these other hosts of heart attacks or all these other hosts of uh, misinformation that we all know in this room not to be true. Um, so I listened to that podcast and then I started researching the carnivore diet and I started noticing that there were all these people that had Crohn's, colitis, IBS, rheumatoid arthritis, eczema, all these autoimmune conditions that are claiming that they're curing their disease when there's apparently no cure. And so that's when all the, the bells went off in my head because that I started saying to myself, all right, if it's possible for me to heal naturally and get off medication that has this whole other host of side effects, why would I not do that? So I very vividly remember in 2019 going to the Whole Foods in New York, um, going to the local grocery store, getting all my beef, my steak, chicken. Um, I lived in this tiny little shoebox apartment, so I, like, I had no idea how to really cook. So I was smoking out my apartment and everything like that. But that was like, that was the entry point. And I said, look, I'm going to do this for two weeks. I'm going to eat all animal products. Um, I'm going to drink bone broth. I'm going to cook with butter and we'll see where we're at. I can do anything for two weeks and let's just give it a shot and see what happens. And so literally after those two weeks, I went from going to the bathroom probably five to six times a day down to one to two max immediately. So for me, I'm thinking to myself, okay, here's actual proof that my controlling my dietary inputs is directly impacting the way that my stomach feels. And then from there, it was just building on momentum like anything else. So I start cooking more of my meals. I start sourcing my stuff more intentionally. I start signing up for endurance races, half Ironmans, Ironmans, triathlons, eating the right way, telling all my friends about it. And then I'm sitting here in 2021 and my stomach feels as good as it's ever been.